But no, I mean, I was surprised. I was surprised when I first moved to here to Canada about 10 years ago, I was very much so surprised to find out that the credit application was something that was reserved for after the negotiations. Hell, it didn't even happen after a test drive. It happened after you negotiated a payment, then you pulled the credit. Um, Daryl, what are your thoughts as far as, you know, a credit first approach versus kind of a, a credit last approach for dealerships? I think the credit first rep- uh, approach is definitely the way that we need to go, especially coming uh, on the outside of this uh, pandemic. There's going to be a lot of people who were impacted financially as a result of what happened in the market and really, really good people who were just on the unfortunate side of, you know, unfortunately they had to close their shop or people Absolutely. Who had great, great credit for a long term um, and now have a little bit of a bruise. And it all depends on how businesses and companies report this downtime is there going to be a bit of a, a grace period per se you know between uh, march and and you know june of this year for for people who have maybe missed a payment or two or is that going to have an impact what is equifax what are what is transunion going to do uh and how is this going to be reported and how is this going to impact lenders is there the human side of that so um to ken's point i think that's that's a very valid point in fact my previous job was a, uh, in a in a business where we did everything online. We delivered about 150 cars across Ontario every month. And it was all uh, credit app online first. We find the car for you based on your credit. And it's not just people with Rouge credit who take advantage of that. There's people that don't know where their credit is. They're afraid to go into a dealership and be laughed out. And salespeople don't necessarily do a good job of hiding their emotions after they spent two hours, three hours selling a car. <laughs> Usually it's full pop. They've got bad credit. <laughs> And then to find out when they go in the box that the credit is not good, right? And so it just creates an an overall embarrassment, bad experience, and frustration on the salesperson part. We need to lead with credit app now. We need to let people feel comfortable, apply online as long as we have the security uh, protocols in place so that their uh, personal information is secure. But I think that's there's no doubt that that's where the future needs to be. And there's a benefit to the dealerships. You know how much data and information you can get if more people are applying that way it's 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 a win-win win exactly 